This is the Station Street number two grade crossing located on the Kankakee, Beaverville, and Southern NYC line in St. Anne, Illinois. Here we have two gateless signals, each with LED lights and no bells. This is an overview looking east. We'll get a look here at the western signal. And we'll start off with the emergency information. Dot number is 538517R. Got a single sided modern industries base. The lights are 12 by 24 inch Electrotex LEDs and Satran frames and a Satran light bracket. For some reason, UP's done some of the maintenance on this crossing, even though they don't really operate over it. The only thing I do is interchange with the KVS right there on that track, but generally they don't operate over this crossing. There's a back view of the lights, and it's got double sided cross bucks as well, which you don't see much on the KVS. Here's a back view of the western signal. See the grade is all concrete. There's the relay case in the southeast quadrant, which does have UP markings on it. Kind of weird. They got UP markings and UP style lights and everything, but got KBS dot tags. Like I said, the grade is all concrete and they recently resurfaced this. Track U facing north. There's the diamond right there with the Ville Grove sub. And that's looking towards Aroma Park in Kankakee. And then track you facing south towards Iroquois, Sheldon, and eventually Lafayette, Indiana. So these are probably eh, 80s or 90s gateless signals here. There's a lot of old gateless signals on this line, but with newer lights. Obviously no more 8-inch lights in Illinois. At least on the KBS anyways. And like I said, this is the only crossing on the KBS to have Electrotex LEDs. Because it appears UP does maintenance on this crossing. You know, they don't really operate that much. I forgot to point out here, there's a additional cross buck here protecting this uh, little track that leads to the grain elevator. Even though there's not a cross buck on the east side of this crossing here. That just connects to the main line down there. Yeah, funky little things like this always mystify me. Here's nobody now looking west. We'll get a look here at the eastern signal. A slightly different looking modern industries base on this one. There's dot tag again. Again, it's got KBS dot tags, even though this appears to be maintained by Union Pacific. Got more 12 by 24 inch Electrotex LEDs and Satran frames and a Satran light bracket. Yep, none of them are Hawker. Back view of the lights, and again, no bell on either signal. There's a lot of gateless mass signals with no bells on this line. And most of the bells you do find on this line are mechanical. I don't, I don't know if there's any e-bells on the KBS in Illinois. I know there's one or two in, the, in Indiana. But I haven't seen any in Illinois yet, which is really nice. And there's a back view of the Eastern Signal. Weird to think that I've seen more trains on this line today than I have seen on the Villa Grove sub. Weird to think. Anyways, this has been the Station Street number 2 Great Crossing.